the impact that we want them to. For example, effective. Let me put you in this position, Saba. You say you are the, the Minister of Finance, um, or the Minister for Climate Change. You're looking at the government supports of the fossil fuel industry and trying to choose what could stay and what should go. Which government supports of the fossil fuel industry would have to be reevaluated for Canada to be in line with the latest IPCC report? Well, Canada simply has to stop public financing in fossil fuels, period. We subsidize the fossil fuel industry heavily. If we didn't subsidize it, then it would not be competitive. We don't give similar supports to the renewable sector. So I think that the message is clear from this IPCC report that there is no room if we want to keep a livable planet. We really need to start this transition rapidly or a global fossil fuel phase out. Can we talk about, for a second though, about, about new fossil fuel projects? in Canada. For example, last year the Bay Noir project off the shores of Newfoundland was given the go-ahead. Can Canada move forward with a project like this and still be in line with what the UN and a consensus of climate scientists are calling for? Absolutely not. There should be no further development expansion of fossil fuel projects. And Canada has a special role to play. We have a historic responsibility in this crisis because we have been one of the largest producers. We heard Stephen Gibbo when he approved Bay Dunar say that he was giving, attaching so many conditions to the project going ahead, including the fact that it would need to be 